Okay guys, this is Christian and in today's video we'll talk about how to actually get a developer job. Um, this will apply to you if you're a beginner or if you've been in the game for a while, you will know exactly why you are not getting that job, no matter how hard you're trying, no matter how much time you are investing into your education. Um, and it's most likely because you are focusing on the wrong things. So there are two pillars that I've discovered, you know, and I don't want to make myself like I'm some genius, you know, but uh, I like to observe people and because I run a coaching program and I help people become developers, I always look at what works and what doesn't work because my goal is to help you, my viewer, make money as fast as possible and obviously help my clients even more to get paid. So. I'm apologizing for this uh, horrible haircut. Tomorrow I'm due for a cut, so please forgive me. I will promise you that this video is going to be extremely valuable to you. Let me just move my head over here. Just give me a second. All right, I hope this works better. Okay, so the reason why most people are not getting paid as developers, no matter how hard they are trying, is because they are focusing on everything but the fundamentals, okay? We'll talk about the fundamentals of like programming and getting a developer job in a second, but just think about it conceptually for a second. If you want to lose weight, I don't know, let's just say, because that's a very simple example. There are so many like diets and ways of, you know, tricks and eBooks and programs that you can buy, you know, that will make this process faster or easier. But it essentially boils down to one fundamental uh, principle of physics, you know, which is eat less calories, consume less calories than your body needs to maintain your weight. It's as simple as that. I can guarantee you that if you do not eat for a month, you will probably die, okay? Because this principle will work very well on you. It's a, a fundamental thing that your body is using to operate okay in this case in this analogy to lose weight okay and with programming we have literally two fundamental things that we need to focus on they, they are so simple and i'm flabbergasted by the fact that people do not see those things and they do not apply them for whatever reason so let's get into it first fundamental is the actual, you know, programming concepts that you have to learn. And we have three languages. One of them is a programming language. So JavaScript is a programming language. And then HTML and CSS, they are not programming languages, but they will aid us. Uh, you cannot become a web developer, front-end developer, full-stack developer without knowing HTML and CSS. But we need those plus JavaScript. And in JavaScript, you only need to learn loops, data structures, functions, if-else statements, and variables. It's as simple as that. Now, of course, there is a difference between just knowing them and being an expert at using them. Essentially, if, you are, if I can pause this word, this guy is called uh, Michelangelo. So it's an artist from um, 1500s, 1400s, I don't even remember. And probably you know this statue. This is David, from the story of David of, and Goliath from the Bible. And essentially, this is a piece of rock, right? And he used a hammer, a little hammer, and a tool made of metal, I don't know how it's called in English, to create this, right? The fundamentals. But obviously, he was really good at using those fundamentals, and that's why he created a work of art, and that's why he's respected and a well-known artist, okay? He didn't do anything crazy with crazy tools, right? Anyone has access to those tools and to that type of rock to a certain extent, okay? So this is the reason why most people fail at, you know, learning code and getting a programming job is because they do not focus on the fundamentals. They focus on literally every single thing that is not that, okay? And your goal, if you want to make money with this, like I, I'm telling you this because I want you to make money and I want you to 
leave a comment later on one of my videos like most people are doing and you're gonna thank me for it most people do not do that okay and just to give you an example if you could give me a here there's someone who went to a coding bootcamp and didn't focus on that okay so they've made something like this okay they've learned something real quick he spent sixteen thousand dollars on a coding bootcamp and then he made this okay this is the most basic project ever and this person will never get hired unfortunately and i don't want you to be that person okay so i want you to focus on learning the fundamentals okay the 20 percent that's going to give you the 80 percent of the results okay and then once you do that this is the second fundamental thing that you need to do if there is anything that you can do to guarantee your success is to build software okay um there is no way to go around this like there is no magic pill there is no silver bullet that you can buy that um, can help you avoid this okay but if you spend a lot of time building one single thing in my case i'm building my own software right now so i went back to being a developer for myself this time i'm building a SaaS for myself and i'm using the most rudimentary technologies okay not even typescript not even like the fancy stuff none of that i'm using like stuff that even my students would laugh at me okay but i'm building something that solves a real problem and on top of that i'm building something that looks good okay and again i'm not a designer or whatever i'm just using libraries that i find online i just make sure that every single thing that i make looks good functions well and it's really easy to implement okay I do that a couple of hours a day here and there whenever I have time. Sometimes I spend four hours, sometimes I spend six hours. But that, if I would be a junior developer, that would guarantee me a job. Okay, this is what I'm doing in my coaching program. There's, there's no, there's nothing fancy. There's nothing that uh, someone that is uh, foreign to programming cannot do. It's, it's literally learn the basics and put those basics into practice and just do that for a long period of time and that's it you are good to go and let me show you like quickly uh, i was looking today at this uh, i think it's in the html and css part of the program we have this uh, course on html and css on how to learn the least amount of uh, HTML and CSS to build something really sick. And this is one of my students, James. And this is what he did with the most basic tools. There is no uh, CSS library, there is no green. Sorry if my face is like frozen at the moment. Okay, my face was frozen for a moment. But there is nothing fancy here. Okay? The only thing that is fancy is the way he implemented the technologies. Okay? This is what you're getting paid. And again, I want you to understand this. If you're a beginner, focus on building applications, websites that look good, you know, that look like someone would pay you <laughs> instead of like learning so many technologies that you don't even know how to control and how to use. There's no point to do that. Uh, and this guy, <laughs> this is a project made in his first week. And if I can just compare it with someone that spent $16,000 went to a boot camp um, yeah it's it's like a night and day difference I, I hope you can see this right this is what it means to learn the writing apply it really well and then move on okay so that's pretty much it I hope this video will help you out if uh, you want me to help you there's a link in the description you can use it and apply for my mentorship program and i'll show you exactly how to 
be a total G. See ya.